Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the heart rate and the force of ventricular contraction. An increase in heart rate progressively enhances the force of ventricular contraction. Why does this happen? Because during rapid stimulation, more calcium enters the cell than can be handled by the mechanism for calcium exiting. Contractility. Contractility is the inherent capacity of the myocardium to shorten independent of changes in load or heart rate. Increased contractility means a greater rate of contraction to reach a higher peak of force. It is explained at a molecular level by increased interaction between calcium and the contractile proteins. Contractility or enotropism is an important regulator of myocardial oxygen uptake. Clinical assessment of contractility Ejection fraction Ejection fraction is end diastolic volume subtracted from end systolic volume divided by end diastolic volume. Ejection fraction also depends on preload and afterload. The rate of pressure development during ejection is delta P divided by delta T and the velocity of ejection are influenced by preload. They correlate well with enotropic interventions. Also the pressure volume loop is related to the clinical assessment. The rate of pressure development during ejection. Pressure volume loops. Pressure volume loops are among the best of the current methods for estimating the contractility of the intake heart. The maximal pressure that can be developed by the ventricle at the end, end systolic volume is defined by the end systolic pressure volume relationship, which represents the enotropic state of the ventricle. Slope of end systolic pressure volume relationship is almost insensitive to preload, afterload and the heart rate and is the most reliable index for assessing myocardial contractility. Enotropic agents. Enotropic agents are modifiers of contractility that can affect the dynamics of cardiac muscle contraction independent of preload or afterload. Positive enotropic agents increase calcium by opening calcium channels, inhibiting sodium calcium exchange, and by inhibiting the calcium pump all at the plasma membrane. Examples of positive enotropic agents are adrogenic agonists, cardiac glycosides, high extracellular calcium, low extracellular sodium, and increased heart rate. Negative enotropic agents decrease calcium. Examples are calcium channel blockers like verapamil. Also, low extracellular calcium and high extracellular sodium. Diastolic function. Diastolic function expresses the filling capacity of the ventricle. It is influenced by several factors. The diastolic function is influenced by left ventricular relaxation, left ventricular compliance, left atrium function, mitral valve, pericardium and the heart rate. Pressure volume diagram. The pressure volume diagram shows the limits of ventricular stretch and the effects of ventricular volumes on systolic and diastolic pressures. The systolic pressure curve is an expression of ventricular compliance. C equal delta V over delta P. Assessment of diastolic function Isovolumic relaxation, which is by parameters, which is duration of isovolumic relaxation from 
aorta closure until mitral opening. Time constant of isovolumic pressure decay by milliseconds. Methods are used are echocardiography, Doppler echography and mechanograms. Ventricular filling, the parameters are pressure volume relationship during ventricular filling, the slope of the pressure, volume curve plotted from the minimal diastolic pressure to the end diastolic pressure represents the ventricular stiffness. The methods used are the Doppler echocardiography. So this was everything for today. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon again in the next video.